busy day at Silver Islet. Just got the boat launched. Kayakers are finally out of the way. We got all the uh, Viking cruise ship people coming and going. I guess the cruise ship must be around the corner or something. This is the new launch. It wasn't too bad. At least they had a little dock here. I would have had big troubles. <laughs> wind blowing around. Gotta wait till the wind calms down before I head out. So it's really busy here. I'm launching at uh, Silver Islet today. We got the Viking uh, antagonist or whatever it's called, cruise ship around the corner and they're ferrying boats here and back and tourists and so I had to wait for a bit to get onto the boat launch it's still really windy so I might be hanging around here for a while I see the OPP cruising around I'm sure they'll be checking on me what I've been planning for for the last couple of years get out and do an overnighter on the boat so this is it we're going to uh, hopefully it was supposed to be calm tonight and tomorrow overnight tonight we'll see how the conditions are tomorrow listen to the marine forecast and maybe get some uh, diving in I got to get my weight set up shallow wreck I'm gonna be heading for a, a shallow one off the bat there and a nice shelter bay I'll probably overnight there and then we'll see how tomorrow is but this is uh, what it's all about I need to get away by myself for a while Made a big life change on uh, Friday, so got to think about things for a while. Still pretty windy out there. Gonna have to cruise around in here for a while. Go around the corner and see what's going on. Well, the Viking Octantis, it's just around the corner. That's the uh, Silver Island store. And those are the little ferry passengers. There she is, anchored off of the uh, sea lion. That's the backside of the Sleeping Giant, Tea Harbor, over to the left.
that's what they call the sea lion right in front of you right now just a rock outcrop
nice to have the chart feature on here. It gives you all the rocks and islands and bays and everything. You can plot a bunch of stuff if I knew how to do it, but... <laughs> well, it's calmed down like they called, so that's nice. I think straight ahead what I'm looking at is the Black Bay Peninsula. It's all the way down over there. This is uh, Edward Island off to the left here. And if you look out way over here, way, way over there, that's uh, Passage Island and Isle Royal, the north end, northeast end of Isle Royal. That's uh, Michigan. And we just came through that gap back there. Selfie time. I like it when it gets calm like this. Just gotta figure out where I'm going now. I'm gonna pick a spot, anchor there for the night, maybe get my dive gear set up. Tomorrow it's supposed to be calm, so I'm hoping it stays calm. So I'm gonna head over that way, and there's a couple little wrecks over there I wanna dive. If you can see in the water there, there's rocks, and I'm wondering if that is where the old dock used to be. Now there used to be a lumber camp here. change the uh, rope on the front bow anchor, give a little more length to it. So once I get anchored here, I got a stern anchor out, I put the bow anchor out, double anchored and then I'm gonna probably get something to eat or maybe go for a dive. There's a little wreck over there, go check out. And there's a a lumber, there used to be a lumber camp back way wed over here somewhere. I'd like to go check out, probably nothing there at all, but you never know. Thank you. 
think it's 150 altogether. This little wreck is called the Ruth Ann. I've been here once before, uh, back in 2002, so 20 years ago. So it'll be interesting to see how it's changed. That's a picture of the rudder, or the, sorry, the propeller, which actually still spins. It's pretty cool. So there's not much left of her. Okay, so I dove here in 1998. Uh, she sank December 9th, 1928, after catching fire and exploding. She was carrying propane cylinders for this uh, logging lumber camp. So, not a lot left of her. The gasoline Ruth Ann, belonging to the Pigeon Timber Company, burnt to the water's edge when moored off the island. Uh, 700 gallons of gasoline and 600 gallons of coal oil all exploded. Like I said, I don't know if you can see those rocks in the water all the way along here. But uh, the wreck is over there somewhere. So I'm running a uh, 19 cubic foot backup. I just want to set this up. <clears throat> Not like I'd need it today for <laughs> 10 feet deep, but I want to set it up and make sure that I got everything and everything's balanced properly. My weight is the big thing. That'll be real interesting is putting this whole thing on with uh, weights in the pocket. <laughs> yeah, my weights, I have no idea. I got my uh, Hero 5 camera. Took the lights off for now, I don't need them. So I can video this wreck, hopefully. And then I get to see if I can get these things off after the dive, <laughs> after I clip them on. So I'm going to change these out eventually, right now. That's all I got, so they're stiff and they're short and not the greatest. Alright, no scuba diving happening today. Zipper blew out before I even got in the water so time for a new dry suit I guess it kind of sucks but I'll take the little dinghy and I'll go ashore and see if I can find something interesting well, that's kind of been the story of this year There's things breaking and things not working and things not working out and so Kind of a downer year, but I'm going to keep picking away at it.